Hi everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome back to Sandy Writes. I know that the big thing is to do like best books of the year lists, but we're gonna switch it up. And this was I saw Isla from A Whisper of Ink do a list of the worst books she read in 2019. I think I'm seeing other people doing this as well, but this is where my inspiration came from. That's that. I'm stealing that idea for myself. So today we're going to talk about the worst books I read this year. I originally was going to do like a massive list of like a lot of books I just didn't like. I think I'm going to keep it short and sweet and we're going to do, I think there's four books and they are the four books I gave two star ratings or reviews to in this year of 2019. Let's begin. The first book that I very much did not like this year was The Smoke Thieves by Sally Green. The beginning of this book was so promising because it started off with the chapter about the demon hunt I don't remember their names, but the demon hunter characters. And it's like, you know, this soft girl who is bait for demons and just wants to buy nice boots, and this like angry, gruff guy who even though he doesn't show it, you know he like really cares for this girl. <laughs> and I love that kind of relationship. But yeah, they're just catching demons and they are the ones who thieve the smoke as from the title to Smoke Thieves. And they were my favourite perspective viewpoint. Like their chapter's my favourite to read. And you know, it went downhill after that because there are four other perspectives. You have the princess who I didn't really care too much about until the end, when she like comes into her own and becomes a strong independent woman. So this is one of those fantasies where women are still treated like shit. It's one of those. If this book, I mean, I liked it for the smoke thieves, but, and the demon hunting, but as the book progressed there was very little demon hunting and smoke thieving. So it's a thing, it very much had potential and I loved it for that. It just unfortunately went downhill. The next book I gave two stars to was What Really Happened in Peru by Cassandra Clare. It's also by Sarah Reeves. Is it Sarah Rees Brennan? And I've also wrote down that it's also by Maureen Johnson, because I think I saw a cover that had her name on, but only one. So I, I, I don't know if she also wrote this. Just putting that out there. I've just seen it. What really happened in Peru is this, I think, it's, a, it's another spin off series of Shadowhunters. It's about Magnus and is it Katrina and. The guy whose name starts with R. Ragnar? Yeah, it's about the warlocks. I, is it a novella? Was it 200 pages? I don't remember. Either way, it's another spin off Shadowhunter series. I think it was one of the, one of the earlier spin off series. And I know I said that I would read whatever Cassandra Clare puts out, but I think there's a point where you should stop putting out spin off series. It's and also because this one has a co-writer, I think that really tones down Cassandra's writing. And that is the main reason I read her stuff, because I love her writing style. And this book read more like a Wikipedia page of things that were happening, rather than a book from the Cassandra that I know and love. And yeah, I have a huge respect of her for managing to actually make so many series of this the Shadow Hunters concept, but it's time to stop. <laughs> That's karma for slandering Cassandra Clare. The next book I gave two stars to is Infinity Sun by Alan Silvera. Silvera. I'm smiling because I've just filmed my review for this. And I genuinely hate talking about this book because it was so hugely anticipated and hyped up. And I got the advanced copy from that galley from it, and it just it just fell flat. And it's painful seeing like so many negative reviews for this, because the book isn't out yet. So we still have the excited people on Twitter who are hyped for this book, and also Adam's writing the sequel right now, and everyone's excited for that. And it's painful, <laughs> purely because I didn't like it. And I'm afraid that when it comes out, a lot of other people won't like it. 
and the sequels being written and people might not like that and it's just this big spiral you know i'm not gonna go go, go i'm not gonna go 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 i'm not gonna go too much into this one because i've just filmed the review for it which would be the maybe the last video i uploaded or maybe the next either way i wrote a review on my vlog so i'm not gonna go too much into this because i already have <laughs> and the fourth book i gave a two star review to was throwing a glass by sarah j mass was it a mass mass I just noticed in my blog post that I just I just spelled her name wrong, but yeah. And this is the book I read because my friend loves it a lot. She has the entire however many books in this massive series there are. And she loves it and I read it because she loves it. Because this is the book this is the book. This is the friend who's tasting books I trust because ours like align a lot. And this is the kind of book where instead of growing on me which there are a lot of books here like you can't this shelf is just black so is this one but yeah i have 300 and something books here and there are so many of them that when i first read them it was a slow start or they were like an average book but i've gone back and i loved it this is the kind of book where i started off kind of liking it and then as i looked back on it it just went downhill i think it started off as a four star review and now it's down to two so yeah instead of growing on me it did the complete opposite and the plot of this book focuses on the parts that aren't interesting like there's bits where it says it's like this demon monster attacks there are training days there are competitions but it says that in one sentence and instead it spends a chapter on something just, just complete like selena just like on guard just watching the two guys she has a thing for just existing it's one of the what's that in the second book yeah, I didn't like the first one, but I still read the second one, and I still read all the prequels. Because I don't know when to stop. But yeah, this book focuses on the parts of the plot that just aren't interesting, and so many of the characters aren't likeable. Okay, so my mum just phoned me, and I'm filming this on my phone, so I don't know how much that last bit cut off. But I was saying that I always kind of fail to understand why the hype of a book doesn't correlate to the quality of the book. And then I was saying, then I went back and turned back myself, I was like, you know, People do think this is a good book, and they're allowed that opinion. So that's basically how, much, how that thought went. <laughs> this wasn't worth coming back to. But yeah, those are the four books of this year that I'm counting as the worst books I read this year. Because they were the four, well they were the, the, the most lowest ranked, ranked? Rated books I did. That's all I had to say. But also in the comments below, let me know like what were your personal worst books of 2019? And also, do you like end of year posts? I know I'm posting this at the start of the year, but do you like being reminded of the past year? That's it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.